Marching today in the many tens of thousands, the frustration and fury in Puerto Rico is clear. The government is corrupt, he says. We take to the streets to be respected. We're tired of this. It's been years, said this man. The people have awoken. Indeed, the island is not only still recovering from the ferocious Hurricane Maria in 2017, but it's mired in a recession that's lasted more than a decade. Puerto Rico is deeply in debt, its government accused of corruption and this month, further scandal. Leaked text messages by Governor Ricardo Roseo that were deeply vulgar, homophobic and misogynistic. He's refused to cede power despite demonstrators demanding he step down. He's a terrible governor. In Washington today, Donald Trump weighed in, himself long accused of not doing enough to help the U.S. territory. Who can forget his now infamous flip of paper towel rolls to Puerto Ricans in need after the hurricane? Said Trump today, U.S. hurricane relief money has disappeared. American aid to Puerto Rico was squandered, wasted, stolen. You have incompetent, totally grossly incompetent, leadership at the top of Puerto Rico. <laughs> Last week in San Juan, the protests turned violent. Today, peaceful but in force. Among the demonstrators, singer Ricky Martin. That's him waving the blackened Puerto Rican flag, symbolizing resistance. And underlining to Puerto Ricans now filling the streets, the resistance is strong and growing. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.